Hello everyone, this is Craig Company with ATEC and Asset Scan. Welcome back to our reoccurring video series on extending reliability with IIoT. Today we'll be walking through a short demonstration on automated work order and integration to IBM Maxim. Here we're at the AssetScan.com website. We can log in. I'm going to log into our artificial intelligence work order demo and we can go in to look at the assets. In this case I have a rotary PD pump that's in critical alert. In here I can go to a, a view so I can see all my assets. I can see the CMMS ID uh, that we use to connect the uh, work order to a, the exact asset within Maximo. I can see the conditions that we're in right now, the alert conditions, etc. Uh, if I want to look at the trend data, as you've seen in other videos, uh, here's the trend of overall vibration and the peak view vibration and or peak fault vibration. Taking a look at how we set up our alerts in Asset Scan, we can go to our fault peak detection. Uh, this is based on high frequency or ultrasonic data. Our standard alerts are 6, 12, and 18 Gs, which we also cover in another video. What I want to point out here is that uh, the alert management capability, this ignore function means when it's less than 2 Gs, ignore a reset or a clear of that alarm so we don't generate nuisance alerts. Uh, that's important as we generate work orders. We don't want to create additional or nuisance work orders as well. This hysteresis and tolerance band helps us with uh, managing our alerts and therefore additional work orders. And then we have a override based on time. So we can set this to say, I don't want to get an alert any more than 24 hours or a week on this particular asset. Moving over to the Maximo system, we're into the Maximo system work order, work order tracking, and in here I've pulled up the work orders that have been automated, automatically generated for the asset 11500, and this, uh, as you're seeing, is the rotary PD pump, uh, same description as we have in asset scan. If we drill into this, uh, this was generated off the ultrasonic minor alert, and the prescriptive task there is to inspect and lubricate. This is generated automatically in the description. A work type of corrective maintenance is generated. A uh, target start date out 10 days. So uh, again, plan allowing the maintenance organization time to plan and schedule. And you can see that asset scan uh, generated this uh, and at what time. Going back to the list view in Maximo, we can, for demonstration purposes, we went ahead and uh, triggered an overall vibration alert as well. In that case, it had worked his way through from a minor to a warning to a critical alert. In this case, where prescriptive task is to escalate the risk decision to operations and or plant manager. For them to make a decision on, at this point, what we suggest is the maintenance tech and the maintenance supervisor have been aware of a problem, likely that the operations is operating the equipment and has not been time to do the maintenance. And so as we escalate that alert condition, we want to escalate that decision to the plant management who's making essentially a risk decision at that point. In this case, the target start date is, uh, is a tighter time frame. Uh, we've reduced that to three days. Again, the idea on many of these is that we want to see uh, the alerts far in advance as possible. As the alerts escalate, we want to shorten up the response time. I also want to show you how we can generate this alert to an email and so this can work in parallel or in lieu of your integration to Maximo. Here the same work order came into our email, my email. I have a rule that puts these into a work order folder for me and I can look at this work order. It will be the same information. This is the ultrasonic minor alert that came in and is the description of inspect and lubricate with a target date. So that concludes our review of the automated work order from Asset Scan to Maximo and or to an email system and or other systems using REST API. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at AssetScan.com. Thanks for joining us today.